Listen up, hyphy coders, let me tell you a tale. We be coding all night and our logic's to scale. Gonna get a bunch of errors, shove them in your face. Writing lines, fixing bugs all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. <laughs> I can't do that, seriously. Welcome back to another Python tutorial. We're looking at Unicurses, and in this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be shifting out of the Unicurses thing, you know? <laughs> no, you don't know. Okay. So, throughout this entire video series, I've been teaching you guys all the functions and variables and things that you can use out of the Unicurses library, the Unicurses module. Now, Unicurses is cross-platform. It allows you to use the end curses and, like, terminal screen manipulation accessibility all on like Windows, all on Linux, all on Mac, and all that sort of fancy great stuff. But by default, obviously, it, it is like a Linux native. It's where it initially came from. So so Python automatically, in every every package that Python is practically bundled with, it has a default curses library that's different from Unicurses, but see, that only runs on Linux. Now, Unicurses and curses have a different syntax, because Unicurses is working with PD curses on Windows, and it kind of gets into mind the typical like C++ or C style syntax, and it's not all object-oriented like Python is. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing us what's going to happen if we just said, screw it, I just want to use regular curses rather than curses. So, in every single file that we have here, the player, the functions, even our main, I'm just going to switch out from unicurses and go right into curses. And we're going to see what happens. If I just go ahead and modify every single one of these, we're going to get a boatload of errors, there's no doubt about that. But hey, we're going to be able to work through it and fix it. Because there is... I'm, and I'm going to get into this in a later tutorial. There is a, a reason why we might want to actually use regular curses. And uh, it's kind of different depending on how you want to be using your syntax and understanding things, but it's still an object. It's I'm sorry, it's still an option. All right, let's, let's run the code. Main.python. There's our first error. Keypad is not defined. Okay. Well, let's get in there. That's our, that's our main script. So keypad over here, that actually runs with the curses library as part of the standard screen that we've initialized. And that's std scr, you can see it up there, initialize screen. So since it's part of that object, what we're going to do is just use our dot selector there. Now, whenever you're creating a, a window or whenever you create a panel in regular curses, the Python default that we're using right now, that cr creates an object, and that's how you're typically going to be accessing the functions and values and variables that can interact with that object. So, practically everything that we're going to be using is going to have to either be called by our standard screen or our window, especially in the case of our player. We're going to have to modify that as well. So, okay, let's see what the next error is. I'm going to clear the screen here and run this again. Global name window add string is not defined. All right, see what I mean? We're calling and we're initializing and we're interacting with, I should say, with our window. So we need to be able to modify that. That's in our player object, so let's scoot over there. Let's find it. Um, there's main, there's player. Okay. Wad string. We're going to remove that, and we're going to say our self.window is the one calling that. Obviously, we don't have to pass it into the function anymore because it knows that that's obviously, that's obviously and already the one that we're going to be using. Okay, what's next? Add string returned error. Okay, well, that one we have to kind of fix. That one we have to worry about. So, if I get over to my player one more time, I need to explain this to you. When we create a new window in, in, in curses, the, the, the Python default, if we have it set up with a width and height of just one, like a one by one, like a, a plain old simple character, if we add a single character that, for some reason, and I don't know why, I, I, I cannot honestly tell you, curses breaks. It it has a hissy fit. It, it throws that error. So we've got to fix that. I don't know how we should do it, because if we create a width or a height that's greater than one by one, we don't actually have our one by one character, which is what we want. We want him to be just like a symbol, a simple symbol like that. There's our player. So the way we can work around this is by using the background function. That's a little cheap, but it's the way we're going to do it. So self.background with our window. Remember, we're ac accessing it from there. And we're going to use the body. Now I'll fix that up here so we don't, we don't want to run this because that'll throw us an error. 
But now we're going to want to do this exact same thing for our set colors function, because remember that has to modify things with the color as well. Now you guys know that the self.window background function, the background function, takes a second argument for the attribute. So that's where we can pass in the color and the attribute. Alright, awesome. What's next? New panel is not defined. Okay, so this is another big thing. In curses, there isn't really a, um, there isn't like a new panel function available immediately within the scope. It's actually a part of another mini package within curses. So typically you would run new curses like new panel if you if you thought of it this way, but no, actually in Python there's curses dot panel dot new panel. And that's just the way it's done. It's a little strange, but that's how we have to accompany for it. So we're gonna add a new line in our include statements up here. So from curses dot panel that's when we're going to import everything. Okay, let's go back to our terminal, see what's new. Atron is not defined. Okay, so this goes back to our, our window uh, sort of understanding. Everything that has to be modified with a specific window has to be done via that specific window with a dot selector. So standard screen dot Atron. I'm sure you guys know that you'll have to do this for Atroff as well. And this goes the same way for VLINE and HLINE. It just has to be done within that window. What's next? get ch is not defined. Okay, exact same thing. We have to be running it from within our... Sorry, it should be the get ch function, not the variable. Move that right over there. Okay. Terminal again, what say you? Okay, we got our screen, we're ready to play. But I try to move, and here's another error. Move panel's not defined. So the syntax in the regular curses library is actually just plain old move. Let's go over to our player file here, that script, and if moved, it's now going to become self.panel.move, and it's, it's not move panel, it's just regular move, and we can take out that self.panel argument because it knows that it's directly referencing itself. Okay, now let's go back to our terminal and see what happens. Clear the screen, run it, and hey! We did it! We, we can move around, our, our program is running fine, just the way we had it last time. This is cool! <laughs> okay, so, this is kind of an exclusive video because it's working only on Linux. And the kind of the problem with using the regular Curses module is that it's only going to work on, on Linux. I think it works on Mac, I, I honestly don't know, I don't have anything to test it on. But, this is it. This is the original, not so much original, but <clears throat> the built-in, by default, end curses library and module for Python. Now, in a few coming tutorials, I'm going to be getting into a scenario when you could use this, and it might be a better alternative, or it kind of depends on what you're trying to do. But that's... I, I don't want to talk about it right now, because I want to get you guys uh, thinking about why would you ever want to use this module rather than another cross-platform kind of like better module, so to speak. But okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll be getting into some more stuff very soon. Thank you again, guys. Bye.